Hey guys, I'm my friends. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today I brought you something pretty different, slightly different to what I usually do. I usually do reaction videos. If you are new to my channel, I do reaction videos to other videos to other people, and I love it because I learn so many new things. But on this video, it'll be different. Today I will be doing a self reaction yeah a self-reaction video i know before you even ask yourself like hey abby like what is you doing let me give you some context before we even get started so this video today's video arises from one of my reactions to the german cakes that you must try and this reaction was um done because john hodges recommended me to, to see this video and i did so well, I was doing that reaction video, I was watching, you know, the video and I was seeing all of these pictures of the German cakes and I was drooling, like, I was craving so bad to have some of these German cakes. But unfortunately, it was just a simple video and I couldn't have my German cake. So I was like, huh, that's really sad for me because the only German place where I can really get some cake from is pretty far away so i posted this video on friday of last week today's monday fyi and i got so many really nice comments like always from all of my viewers from germans and really nice but a comment that really caught my attention and this goes again to you john hodges mm -hmm. i don't remember exactly the the exact words but i will leave here the comments as soon as i read that comment i was like wait hold on is he really like flexing saying that he's gonna go get some cake i was like mom dad really we need to go get some cake because <laughs> it's yeah. hey i have discord and for those who haven't joined please go ahead and do so i'm gonna leave the the link in the description box if you want to go join it's pretty nice in there um i have a lovely community family youtube family that i call um and well that i consider but in discord we have different channels and one of those channels is a food channel and yes of, of course most of my community is german and yeah it's some sort of torture for me because everyone is always posting their pics their food their lunch dinner dessert their cafe und kuchen and yes i always get to see this delicious really good 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 pics of everyone's food and i'm like whoa wait i'm just here craving for it anyways i always get off topic i was saying that one of the things i really love is that german cakes although i haven't tried them yet i only i've only tried two and it's only the black forest cake and the apple strudel and that's it basically that's that's all i've tried that's from germany but the black forest cake that i tried it was delicious wow i loved it and the thing that really amazed me in the beginning was that it's not sweet at all going back to what i was saying i saw that comment i was like you know what we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go so the next day saturday yes haha <laughs> this person right here this obsession that i have that not only me but i share with my parents as well they love the black forest and they were also craving for it so we decided to drive almost two hours just to get some black forest cake can you believe that yes that's how much we love it <laughs> And it was only basically for that, period. Nothing else. I was planning to do some sort of tiny vlog for you guys just to show you what I was eating and everything. But unfortunately, the audio messed up. I don't know why. Um, yeah, so there was right there a technical difficulty. So that is the reason why I'm doing this self-reaction to my video. Yeah. Um, anywho, yes. So let's get... Let's get started. So yeah, we got there and you guys know that I have a pretty small bladder. I don't know. That's what I think. That's what you guys think as well because I always have to go to the bathroom and it was a really long trip, a long road trip. So as soon as I got in there, I had to go directly to the restroom and I did. But the most coolest thing and the funniest as well was when I got out of the restroom, all I saw was my dad standing 
in the hallway looking at some German products with a Black Forest slice of cake. He had it on his hand and was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can see him right there. Yeah. He was there standing and he was showing all that he had his slice of cake. And I was like, whoa, you are fast. I mean, you know what you came for. Um, the thing was that he's like, no, that's not the thing. I had to get the slice of cake because it was the last one I found in the fridge. I was like, no way. Are you serious? Like, we literally drove almost two hours for only a slice of cake. Are you serious? Obviously, I went up to one of the one of the employees and I was like, hey, um, do you have more Black Forest cake? And he's like, there's no more in the fridge. I'm like, no, this is the last one and we really need more. And he's like, um, okay, let me go check if, they, if we have some. So good news, <laughs> he had one and he literally took out the whole cake as you see right here. I was like, hmm, not only cake, we're gonna, we have to eat something else. And they're like, yes, you need to ask for some bratwurst sandwiches because um, we've tried the liverwurst sandwich. That one was really good, but not my parents' favorite. Mine it was, but um, I also tried the bratwurst sandwich. And I also heard, I don't know if I'm, if I'm right, but if not, please go ahead and correct me. I heard that the bratwurst sandwich, this one that you're looking at, it's not so common in Germany. If it's not so common in Germany to eat the bratwurst sandwich, please let me know in the comments. That'll be really sad because I always think that I'm eating something really German. I don't know, I always stick to the bratwurst sandwich because it's really good and I love it. And we also order some bratwurst and a met first as well. And I love the met verse because it has applewood, I believe. It tastes delicious. So we had those and we got them cooked. We got some sweet mustard and the other mustard. We got two mustards. The sweet one was outstanding. I love it. Wow, I, I couldn't wait to try it. I did try the bratwurst and as you see, I was enjoying it to the max. I love it. I love the bread. The bread is like, the, it's pretzel bread delicious so soft but extremely soft oh i love it and the bratwurst mm, juicy really juicy um and also the mustard yeah as you see just a little bit of sauerkraut so as soon as i finished that i i like i had to you know try my black forest cake so oh my god yes oh it was fantastic i loved it it's delicious the cherries the chocolate bread um the cream oh my god everything is delicious and i i was just imagining i was like yes some days ago i was reacting to a video the black forest i would say is no it's a very very famous cake and here's the difference about german cakes and then I saw John's comment saying that he was gonna go get his cake as well. I was like, yes, finally I'm here. And I'm eating my own piece of cake. Yes, finally. <laughs> I was so happy and I was enjoying it to the max. Uh-oh, love is in the air. <laughs> oh yes. I also got something really nice I need to show you guys because he is a new member, a tiny member of my collection, let's say. And his name is um, Peter. And I need to introduce you to my new German teddy bear. Yes, it's so cute. It's so cute. Look at this. I know his nose is pretty yeah overall look at it it's so cute it's really oh my god look at that mm, with, with german oh you could do it oh it's so cute but the traditional um bavarian clothes i guess i have this thing with my christmas trees that i love using plushies teddy bears and all of these kind of small thingies and I love having them in my Christmas tree. So this will definitely go on my Christmas tree because this year, if God allows me, I'm looking forward to having more like a German Christmas tree. I have some ornaments, some lights, now this, and I 
I have my two flags right here. Um, I have my German flag. This one shout out to Berman Records who sent me this Thuringian flag. Really nice. Now I have this. I have some other accessories that I've gotten from all of you guys. Thank you so much for that. And yes, I love it. It's so cute. His name is Peter, like I said. So it's it's so cool. It says Peter, German teddy bear. Yeah. I think this is my third time going to the German store. This time, we finally walked around and we discovered a new store. And this store is an outfitter. Oh my god. Look what I found. Yes, I found the typical Durndles. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I, I really thought I was never going to find a store, an outfitter, with the traditional Bavarian clothes. It's beautiful. I loved it. I was, I was going crazy. I was like, oh my god, I want this, I want that. And um, yes, of course, I asked for permission and um, the girl in there was pretty nice. She... Um, gave me permission, but she let me know that I had to be careful with others with the rest of the customers To not get them upset with the camera and all of that So I was like not feeling so comfortable filming so I tried to film as much as I could some of the dresses that they had um, Beautiful beautiful. Wow the quality of the dress Great Fantastic wow um, and the prices of the Durndles are, they had different prices, but one of them cost $250. The one that I really liked, this one, the yellow one, was one of my favorite ones. Wow. This is so cute. Yes, all of them were beautiful. I never saw one of them in person. The bad thing, I didn't ask if they were imported. I, I, I'm I, believing they are. You guys will let me know. If these are the real authentic probably imported dirndls from germany but and dad found the hats <laughs> as well he <laughs> even tried it and he, he looked good um but re they were really nice and then here you see my dad yeah of course he had to show that mug he called me and was like look at my mug i was like uh-huh okay it's cool it's really nice and then he's he turns it around and yeah of course uh yeah mm -hmm. a girl anyways i was like yeah he started cracking up he was like i want this mansion like having this mug and like drinking from it and um, showing it to others like, i'm a toxic mexican daughter i'm sorry dad everything i saw in the store was whew, mind blowing i never thought i was gonna find a store like this i also saw some really nice decorations um, some for Christmas, some table games, some some games. Um, everything you see here is what I found in that place. Everything was so cool. And I'm really looking forward to going there next time and probably asking if I can try a Durndle on. I would love to. That'd be a dream because I really want to get one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it now because they're pretty expensive, which I really understand. And I'm not complaining about the price at all because it is worth it. And I know that all of these traditional um, clothes, they always tend to be expensive. So I do want to try one on and I want to show you guys uh, really. And, and if everything goes well, I really want to have one in Germany. Like take some photos and probably in front of a castle. I don't know. It's just a dream of mine. Oh, when I see this this clip right here, it's it's hilarious. I look funny because I'm too short for it. <laughs> My head was like, I was like trying to peeking out, you know, like. Ah. So we kept walking, and I realized, and I saw this sign. I was like, wait, taller bags. We kept walking, and then we turned, and then all of a sudden, I see this big German flag. I was like, oh. No way. Oh my god. So apparently I, I don't want to take video of anyone because there's a lot of people and I don't like I don't want to disrespect their you know I want to respect their privacy. So as you see there's a flag right there, a German flag, and right there there's a restaurant. I didn't know there was another restaurant. I went to the W one. I've gone to the German shop like for like three times already. 
but I didn't know about this restaurant right here it was just around the corner you know so go ahead and comment down below if you guys want me to do a video of this restaurant I will come later they are really curious and they're excited they would love to come back to the to the restaurant and try it out and if we do come it'll be our second restaurant because last time we went to Mount Dora and we went you know first time going to a German restaurant here in the States this will be our second restaurant restaurant because we went to the deli shop so yes I'm really happy that we finally had a walk around because we usually come to the German shop and we go in we buy we eat we get stuff and we go back to the parking lot and we just get you know on the road again back home and we never take a walk and we don't look around what we have what they have here on the area and now we've discovered two new places the outfitters and the new restaurants I looked up for German restaurants and the one that I saw the one that I found in Google was the German deli shop that was the only one I found it probably I, I didn't do a good research I guess but that was the one that I got that was like the first option not the outfitters and not the other German restaurants and now what you're about to see it's a big restaurant that place was stuffed it was full to the max and then when I was filming um all of a sudden my my parents and I we're looking inside you know into the restaurant and then we see like this group of people and then we see the waiter bringing a huge boot and then he starts drinking it and all we hear from outside how everyone's like cheering this guy to drink more beer I turn around I see I, I look at my parents and then they're like oh look over there and then I turn again to to the restaurant and then I see the guy that sees me with the camera he's like oh come over come over I was like yo is he really calling me to come over so he's like doing this to me and I was like okay this is my time to go there so I went I get closer but I'm pretty shy because I was like I don't even know this these people and they're calling me just to to you know to film them and I think the the rest of the friends were not even aware that I was coming but that guy he he was the only one who called me to go in there so I go in and I'm filming them and that's where you see all of this so they're giving me the entrance because it was like a new experience for me you guys know that I don't drink um, at all so I've never had or I've, I've never been in a birthday party like that because um, in that video you see the girl with the red hair she's the birthday girl so they were having fun and it was really nice really cool from this guy of calling me to go in and, and you know film them take a video of them of having fun the the thing that I noticed is that in in the restaurant there's live music which was something really cool that it gives you like another 
whole other vibe i'm really looking forward to going to that place but for that because i know <laughs> i do have some experience with the german restaurants and places and they are pretty expensive compared to other um chains here in 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 the u.s so if you guys would love to see a video in that place i would really appreciate if you can go ahead and like this video right now and share it with with your friends share it with others um and that'll help me a lot so i can get some you know enough budget to go to this place because i really want to show you guys so i would love to invite my family to try it in and to give them a different german experience um you know like a proper experience here in the u.s before going to germany one day also if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel please i enhance you to do so you just have to click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you can get every single notification of my latest uploads okay so going back to what i was describing and you know sharing with you guys i was really um surprised and really happy for having a little peek of of this german restaurants and and discovering these two new places the outfitters and the restaurants i was like wow i we need to come back again and i need to to film a proper video for you guys so you can see what it's what it's like and what's in there i will also want to film and and see how the way the waiters are um if they're the same as in the other german restaurants where i went because in that one i'm gonna leave it in the info card as well if you want to go watch that video it was my first time in a german restaurant here in the u.s and um yeah it was not so um nice in there so i really want to see if there's a difference i want to prove that germans are different to what we lived and witnessed in that other place in mount dora so um i want to do that i want to do some social experiments i want to do a proper evaluation of the food um give you my personal opinion about it i want to try some other desserts i want to try something else besides schnitzel because yeah i tried it and i've done some schnitzel here at home and then something that i do remember was that when i went to the other german restaurants um many of you guys told me hey like abby why did you order a schnitzel if you had that already like you should have um gone for something different so this time i would i will definitely like choose something else something um traditional but that like for us for foreigners have to try um but apart from schnitzel of course so if you want to go ahead and comment down below what you would recommend me to to order that'd be really helpful and what else i i don't know i'm also craving and i want to try so bad a, a very traditional typical german beverage a drink something obviously non-alcoholic um i've heard of the banana and cherry i believe or i don't remember what it is some really cool um combinations of juices uh, that i've seen on discord oh my god i love to see these awesome pictures and description of the dishes of all the german food and it's always awesome to learn and to see of to see more of it anyways so i really hope you guys like this different um self-reaction video um i really wanted to, and i was really excited to share with you guys how i spent my day on saturday so thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it please go ahead and smash the like button also subscribe don't forget to click on the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one with another reaction video bye bye Silhouettes of you are like a ton. Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm